Atmospheric, no drums, Touch just it. straight pure. A few pedals, a couple of chords. What else do you want? Welcome back here to Anderson's TV. I'm Pete. Yes, and I hope you're enjoying our little uh, weekend of PRS love. It's a PRS loving, in fact. PRS uh, we're, loving. We're Is that talking when you lock about the door and you just go. Yes, so there's, uh, we're talking about all the new guitars that PRS announced way back in January 2021. It's taken a while for them to reach the fair shores of Guildfordshire. <laughs> um, but yes, hopefully you've watched uh, some of the, the new SE guitars that have come out. Now we're moving on to some of the American guitars, but yeah. stay tuned because we've got more to come with uh, the, uh, the specials and the uh, Fiores <gasps> and you know maybe a sneaky USA 2408 if we can get one. Anywho, anyway, before we get on to this one, which is very, very cool, please uh, like this video and subscribe to the channel, hit the notification yep. bell, and if you want to watch any more videos, click up yep. in the pop-up banner up there. And go and see what's happening on the Anderson's social media stuff this weekend, uh, if you're watching, that is, this yeah, weekend. Yeah, of course. Uh, because I believe there are some other PRS goodies and oh. love nuggets just for you. Yes. Uh, so we're only focusing so. on one guitar in this. We're not. I'm not going to tell you anything about this, because no. you don't need to know. Uh, you know just that. need to know about that guitar and Pete. What's it called? This is the Studio, the PRS Studio. Is it the Phil Collins Signature Series su su Studio? <laughs> yeah, it's a st 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 Studio uh, from Phil, from uh, Philip, uh, Phil Reed Smith. Could from be, Phil Reed Smith. Could that be? That's uh, Collinsworth. That's this. That's um, Paul's. Paul and Phil. Did you know he's a brother called? From EastEnders. Um, what? Yeah, come on, I come on, on target. So, this guitar was first brought out in the late 80s in this configuration. So. The, as you might see, it looks a bit different with these pickups here. I'll explain that in a minute. It's basically an HSS kind of configuration of a guitar. Uh, you're looking at all the core specs on here. So you've got a mahogany body, you've got a, maple, a carved maple top here, beautiful violin carved, rosewood fingerboard, the beautiful pearl inlay birds flying up and down the uh, board there, uh, the beautiful uh, Pyrrhus. Um, oh, open gear tuners. Open gear, like 118 it. something ratio, Gen 3 uh, tuners on there. Got the, the trim system, you've got a volume and a tone 
where you also have got a split, which gets in a minute, five-way selector switch. And then you've got these pickups here, which, you know, are, looks a bit different. This is a 22-fret model, right? It's a 22-fret. Uh, of course, it comes in all the colors that you can get the core model in, if you want uh, all their beautiful colors. Um, but these are kind of special. We will try to get a little zoom in on these, because they are basically mini... They're called narrow fields, but they are a small version of a humbugger pickup. And if you look at them, they kind of got this staggered design, so they fit... I mean, you won't see it now, but we'll it's, get a zoom. It's, I think when you say staggered it's, normally, it's like this, you, you and then it goes up and there. Yeah, yeah. You, 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 you'd normally see like a flat plastic case with the actual pole pieces staggered. The pole, yeah. This, Where, this pole the pickup is designed. The actual plastic case is staggered, yeah. so to give you this almost like a stepped pyramid kind of up Step, one side and down the that's other a side. Good, so, which gives it sort of a. It is a humbugger, but it's more. I think the tone is a bit more like a. Like a P90 kind of. I mean, I, fat single I coily, like but it's HSS not, as a configuration. Yeah. I must admit, I don't. I don't expect. Do you know? Was the original HSS just regular single coil here, or was it? I'm um, not. I'm not sure. I th I'm let's not, put I'm a not picture of it sure. on screen now, yeah, just so that you guys know. The but. original studio, and it came out in late '80s, and then it went away for a long time, and then it came back for a little I bit, don't and remember then it. it. No, but I it's it's just it. one of those. Mm. This is a 5815LT, so a low turn uh, humbugger in the back here, so they should match yeah. these pickups better. Um, that's and that's it, got. basically. That's, that's the, the humbucker that is in my uh, PRS594. It's a, it's a gorgeous thing. Uh, five way selector switch. Look at that and trim system with all the bit, mix of brass and. You know, it's great, isn't it? Just yeah, it is. And of course, guitar. on the back, now we're going up to uh, excuse all the dust of this. <laughs> Lights and black guitars are never. Do you know what it is? It's, the, it's when uh, you buff a guitar and it's brand new, you create a bit of static on the guitar, so any dust in the air actually is. is that, it just sucks in it. And, it, and, you, and you, know, you only really notice it on black. Oh, yeah, because it just sucks it in. Just um, saying. Just sucks it in. So anyway, so we need some tones from this beautiful beast uh, of a guitar. And I'm running straight in to the um, amp here. And this is the neck pickup. Hear that? Nailed on I just, intonation. I just love the tone. Yes. It's such a... It's definitely got that sort of, um, as you just shot up and play actually, but it's got that P90 fatness, you know. And it's got the, um, the regular pattern neck, so slightly faster than a normal uh, thing. It's, it's just got a really nice, it's really nice feel. Pattern is my favorite. Yeah, neck. me too, me too. So anyway, so that's the position. You don't split these, they are just as they are. So pull that, you don't, nothing happens. They're hum cancelling, right, as well. So they, they are... Because they are humbugger, essentially. Yeah. So when I do, if I do put uh, the protein, both sides of the protein on, with that all the way up, so you, I mean, that's just a little bit of hiss from the pedal, but there's no... But this like, is the gain hum. I've got. I mean, that's a lot of... Yep. It's a, it's, I'm going to turn that down great. slightly. It sounds turn, great. Turn that down slightly. Um, and here is the, the two narrow fields mm -hmm. together. It's more of a... Well, you do, you do those. Don't, to, I mean, it's just... Not, it got Di that, doesn't it? Different amp, but very similar amp, and yeah. uh, no pedals. So I'm just going to do my G chord on my neck pickup. We'll do a, yeah. an AV. It's fatter. That's definitely more single coil. More because mid range, it, isn't there? Yeah, there in is. That. And here's the. So this is the split position where we were before. Split position is the two narrow fields yeah. together. I always enjoy playing these guitars. I mean, they're just beautiful. The music. It's more mid range again, yeah. isn't it? And it's got a fatter thing. 
I think the base, the very fat base end on a single coil is so difficult to replicate yeah, on a, on a Yeah, it is. But I don't think they're trying to do that with these. No. These are just, these it's are... It's just another sound, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, and you, mm. can, you can get these in, you know, I've seen these uh, three configured with uh, some of the cool, or maybe a private stock or whatever, where they have three of these in it, you know. So, I think we had one second hand ages ago hanging on the wall, but... Anyway, here's the middle. Oh, that's nice and... Mm. Just wonderful, mm. wonderful guitar. I think that, do you know what? I think you made a really, really relevant point there that this guitar is, they're not claiming to be single coil. No, no, no. It's just, it's just two different tones. Isn't yeah, it? it's not like, oh, we're trying to make a mini humbugger or we're trying to mm. make a, a humbugger that needs to sound like this or that. No, they're just like, they're their own kind of thing. And that's, that's why you won't get a guitar that sounds like this. And that's why these doesn't sound mm. the same. Uh, now I'm I'm going for the middle position, middle uh, pickup, and the the neck, the fifty eight fifteen. But that's not because you, because of the humbugger, and that's not the tone. But that's kind of. Get that kind of spankiness, right. and then the full fat can you, hump sir, on that position too. Can you hump? Can you split? Yeah, I can the... split this one. Okay, well, I'll, I'll get to that. Ah, later, I see you. So. Uh... Nice and articulate uh, pick up there with the underwound uh, <laughs> coils, you know. <laughs> because it is an underwound pickup, so LT stands for low turn. So then you can split this. And for some reason, it's pleasant. Almost sounds some reason, more like a middle or a neck pickup. It's different from if you go back and watch some of the other videos we've done where we where we split the you know the eighty five mm, was it for eighty five fifteen yeah. S you know this is more in that sense. We did talk it's about softer the sounding, isn't it? Softer sounding. Maybe there's a lower turn. Maybe lower turn humbuckers are better at splitting. I don't know. Maybe sounds like that to me. I could turn the tone down a bit. And of course you can you can go in the position two and have the two together. Which is a nice on his own. Pull it. Bring that fatness from this into the single coil. It sounds great. Let's try some protein just a bit. I'd like to try some protein. Yeah, try some protein. It's like an it? energy drink. <laughs> no, it's a pedal. It's a protein, pedal called protein yes. from brown amp <laughs> amplification. Let's have some protein. That's what I needed before I had my jab and it didn't work. Full humbugger. Split humbugger. And two together. You're, you're, you're very correct in that articulate comment you made there. You can hear all six notes of those big G chords that you were playing. It's, it's on, on this pickup. Yeah. Something with underarm pickups for mm. me, low low um, output pickups. I was talking to Paul and Paul about uh, Paul about it yesterday. Paul and Paul in the Everyone guitar gallery. Paul, so there's Paul and Paul <laughs> at Paul Reed Smith, and then there's, and there's Paul and Paul in the Anderson <laughs> guitar gallery. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Good God! So Imagine Paul, if Paul, 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 Paul
they're just like, you know. Hey, Paul, how are you, Paulie? I'm fine, Paul. How are you, Paulie? How's it going, Paulie? How's Paul? And they all, their wives all call the same as well. So, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, there, there are, we were talking about that for some reason, when you put gain on a underarm pickup, um, it's just more articulate. Mm. It doesn't get as compressed and, and full fat. And I guess that's why people want the, ES, uh, the EMGs and all those kind of really hot pickups. It's easier to control for me. Um, so on the back. I use my fingers. There's more har harmonics and, and um, I mean, is, I love this, this, I love this guitar. Yeah, the it's thing great is, guitar. I'm really drawn, not drawn to is the wrong word, but I'm, I'm sort of looking at it, it's, it's, I'm, it's desirable. There's a guitar that I don't think it's in the catalogue anymore, but they did one that was HSH using black pickup covers that you couldn't see the pole pieces through. Oh yeah. And something always looked off to me on that guitar. I just didn't think it was a particularly attractive looking way of, of having the pickups on there. Yeah. And I was a bit concerned when I sort of heard that there was an HSS version coming that I'd kind of feel the same. But I just think that works. If I mean... It's more like... Hey, H. Yeah, I, it's I, like, I don't. Well, I, so, I, so. I, I wonder if it's the detail. I love the fact that you've got the brass and the and the steel, to yeah. the slugs and the cream. And those little so those it little steps it up, up a bit, it? doesn't it? Yeah. It's really I mean, really pretty. It, and there's there is something with this configuration. It's funny because when they came out, I was I you know I go and see Brian Ewald's uh, videos because he does on the mm. USB. As he does on the PRS website, um, and he when he explains it, that's he explains it so well that I go, I'm just gonna have to listen to Brian talk about narrow field pickups because he's so is it is gentle it like and a, it, it, ASMR or I, yeah is yeah I just get drawn into his and then he plays really nice and he get he always gets this great tone out of, of the guitar and I was like I really want to play that and I think this guitar looks like the one he's playing but there's something in 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 the way that these two go together <laughs> A bit more gain, maybe. Well, that split, it's just great. And then, if you want that extra. Compression, then you put a you know, sort of sustain mm -hmm. compression. Mm -hmm. Without the compressor, <laughs> yeah. I was. It's one of those guitars. Obviously, I'm. I'm only sitting you know, a meter away from you or whatever. I can hear. I, I can see all the tiny, tiny different things that you're trying to do with your fingers it's to get a note, and I can hear that coming out. Yeah, it's articulate. In a way that some other guitars, you just, you know, you obviously you still hear great playing and great notes and everything, but you, you know, there isn't that sense of all of the intricacy. Paul is good at like Paul that. is good at pickups. Mm. Paul is good at pickups. Yeah, you know, especially um, in bars with young ladies. <laughs> so, so we move on to we're still only in this area of the guitar. Where else is there to go? Uh, now this is the middle uh, and there are pickups. Yeah, exactly. So that was the clean. So let's keep the protein back on and then. It's just such a nice. It's a good guitar. It's a, it's a welcoming, different tone. Do you know what I mean? Because we play lots of guitars all the time, and this is just a welcoming, warm, it's like a little hug. I'm a little bit different. I just want to be played. <laughs> and you go, oh, there's something else there that I haven't played for the last month, which is really nice. <laughs> Let's try double protein. Just 
change around keys there, but... Salivating a little bit, but Crikey. it's good, isn't it? It's great, I, I'm, great color. You can I feel tell. like we, I'm, I'm overdoing it now because it's just like yeah. Oh, it's great, it's great, it's great. It's I, great, it's I great, like great. the color. I like the tones coming out of it. I like the shape of it. I'm this just, is like denim, denim whale yeah, blue or something. Denim. Double denim. So here is the two narrow fields together. Just first with one, the blue side of the protein. <laughs> guitar or have we got to give it back to PRS? I don't know. This? You want it. I just think it's great. What's yeah, the serial it is number? Great. Stick this, tell the serial number and if, um, if you can find it on our website, it obviously was ours. The uh, serial number is 20 and then it's uh, 0308 um, 417 and it is a 10 top on here. So uh, I don't know what it is. I don't know who it is or who it's belonged to, but <laughs> if it's on the website, <laughs> if it's not on the website, hey, maybe you never see it again. But yes, in the back of Pete's car, <laughs> driving into the sun. <laughs> Come Come on, on, give work, us that I say, neck pick yeah. up so, and then tear hey, it up One second, I'm just going to do these two together. He's nothing I'm, if not I'm, thorough. An That's incident. true. <laughs> That's no compressor on that. It's got that G, um, uh, the David Grissom kind of... Get that copyright strike from Mick and Dan there. Uh, <laughs> <wasn't> <laughs> so here's the neck pickup now. Mick and Dan is a... like that, but oh, completely. Uh, anyway, so here's the the whole project. Octave complete. I think do it's a think, great do we, guitar. Yeah, do we think Pete liked this? I'm going to have to literally pry out of his hands uh, to move on to the next one. I'm not sure what this, whether the star of the show was the, the guitar, the, the protein drive from Brown Amplification, the guitar amplifier, or just Pete. I don't know, but this is, four, there's maybe. something with this. I, I think this, this is a good um, move of them on bringing this that? guitar back. How much is It's that? about 3,800. There's be links to the description below. They're not cheap. 3,800, I mean, we get a hard it's, case it's, it's like, to put yeah. in the loft. I mean, it's, 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 you know, it's if you want to go into a store and buy a, a custom shop Les Paul or a custom shop Strat or something, you've got to, you've got to accept that that's the kind of dough you've exactly. got to part with. And it's none days. of those. It's if you have a Les Paul and you have the custom shop Strat and you have the whatever, mm. this is a completely, you, I don't want to say unique, but it's just, I wonder if they do an SE version of the studio next year. Well, be cool. they, uh, yeah, but see, I think th there's something about this as well. In you, in this, it just needs to be this. 
it's just great. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. And if you want to watch any more of yeah. our PRS, if you're wondering uh, what this is, I'm sure you can find it on our channel somewhere. Yeah, just type in Purple Sky. Excuse and on me. On that note, while, while I, I kiss, kiss the purple sky. This guy, that's wrong. Purple hey. sky. Come on. Purple sky. Purple <laughs> sky. Right. See you later. Bye. Bye.